Greetings fellow humans, human fellas. Today I just wanted to look back on the year and reflect on all the things that happened and that we accomplished with this channel. First, let's take a look at the Dragon Prince. Looking back, this year was pretty slow. We didn't get as many new books as in 2020, but still some really cool things happened. At the beginning of the year we only had a short message reassuring us that the show was still being worked on without going into any significant details. The next update we got was a Comic Con at home in July, still without any big news. We got a glimpse at a new character from the upcoming seasons and a few out of context spoilers. In August was the release of the season 2 novelization, which added a bit more depth to the story but wasn't too exciting overall. Which to be fair is to be expected when you read a story you rewatched countless times before in the last two years. At the Neo Comic Con in October there were some more character reveals like the Blood Moon Huntress and Kappa and previews of two upcoming graphic novels, the Blood Moon Huntress and the Puzzle House, as well as the dialogue of a small scene from season 4. And just a few days ago we actually got some of the news we've all been waiting for in the form of an end of the year update from the team at Wonderstorm. In there they revealed that season 4 was written, recorded, storyboarded and in the process of being animated. Unfortunately this last step will still take until the end of 2022 to finish so we'll have to wait at least another year for the long-awaited season 4. But at least the end is in sight, even though it's still distant. For any detailed news of this year, I'll link to a playlist of some of my videos in the description. Now let's switch from the Dragon Prince updates to a recap of this channel over the last year. First, to a few numbers. We've managed to grow from about 300 subscribers to almost 900. We've also managed to gather over 160,000 views and 9,400 hours of time spent watching my videos. Earlier this year YouTube lowered the subscriber threshold for community posts to 500, so we also unlocked that. I hope the daily T-Pose memes in December were a nice addition to your feed. The channel also managed to collect not one but two community guideline strikes at once for some meme videos I uploaded in 2017 that were private or deleted. I'm not very impressed with YouTube, let's just say that. The Unnecessary Censorship series earlier this year managed to accumulate over 17,000 views and attracted a lot of new subscribers at the time, and the re-uploads of this year's Dragon Prince panels were also pretty popular. As for 2022, I think that I will probably have to reduce the amount of videos a bit. With another year with essentially no new content apart from the new graphic novels and the Tales of Zadia RPG, I think I'm slowly but surely just running out of content to talk about or make memes from. I have some cool plans but don't expect another 27 part meme series or things like the screaming compilations. Instead you can probably look forward to recaps of season 1 to 3 and maybe even the story of Tales of Zadia if it's relevant to the happenings of season 4. I'll also do summaries or reviews of the graphic novels and of course you can count on a short meme clip every once in a while. I want to thank you all so much for this amazing year on YouTube and how far we managed to bring the channel. I hope next year we'll push it even further. With all that said, I wish you all a happy new year. Let's see what 2022 has in store for us. Thanks for watching and bye.